so here we are in beautiful West Park. Amazing front yard here. Just beautifully cut. Some large trees in the front. And let's head into the house. Beautiful flowers at the front. The front of the house faces north. We have a little coat cupboard here at the front. And this is a, quite a spacious home. It's over 1,200 square feet. We've got our back entrance there. Wood pellet stove in our living room. And on the main level here, it's all engineered hardwood. So let's go through. Here's our kitchen area. And nice U-shaped kitchen. Plenty of storage. And we're gonna go through to the bedrooms. Here's our main bathroom first. We have a tub. And this is the smallest of the bedrooms. And it's still a decent size. And as you can see from the closets, tons of storage space in here, which is one of the things I like about it. Another hallway cupboard in here. And the second of the kids' bedrooms, also a decent size. Again, a large um, closet. Your master bedroom could definitely fit a king-size bed. Decent closet again. And this is just the view from out the window here. We do have a double detached garage. We will head out there. It's an oversized with a workshop in it. Nice T intersection in the back lanes in case you have a um, trailer. So let's go downstairs. This is a fully developed bungalow. And right at the bottom of the stairs here, we're gonna check out our little storage room. This is one thing this house has a lot of is storage. Cubby holes everywhere. Our second bathroom here. Laundry area, built-in back. Just oodles of space and over here is a nice area that you could use for crafts or for ironing. And let's check out what else we have. More storage space at the bottom here. So this is the bedroom number four, and it does have a legal size window with a proper window well and closet. And this is a rec room in the basement here. And this is our fifth bedroom. So this is a five bedroom, two bath house, another legal size window, everything done to code. And then we're gonna head outside. So let's go back up the stairs and I'm going to show you the exterior of this beautiful home. Let me grab my shoes. And there's another back entrance way here, but I'm gonna go out through the front. Okay. storm door so beautiful view of the front of the house love all the flowers as you can see nice big window well oodles of space here and around the back we have this great fire pit area as you can see plenty of space and going to head into the garage over here. Now, as you can see, there's oodles of space in here. Nice workshop area. And one of the things that I love about this is these skylights. You get plenty of natural light, not something you often see in a garage. And then oodles of storage space above. 
Now, that's not all. Let's continue on. I love the flagstones in the back here. So there's another storage area over here. Call it a bike barn. And it is massive. On top of concrete, easily fit motorcycles, um, sleds. There's hooks there for bikes to be hung up against the wall. And I'm just going to take you to the alleyway just so you get kind of get a, an idea. Like I said, you're on a T intersection. We are a 10 minute walk to Red Deer College, which makes it great for students. Uh, we're also close to elementary schools and the new middle school that's being built nearby.